All right, so the next class that we're doing is Shaman, and the first card that we're going to be discussing is the Maelstrom Portal. And I think this card, like, it doesn't seem too, uh, it seems pretty underwhelming, like, one damage doesn't do that much, and a one drop's not that impactful. But I actually see it being used in a really specific archetype as a one-off. Actually, in Aggro Shaman, the uh, famous mm -hmm. extra list that everyone's running at the moment. A lot of people are making this prediction too, which is why I'm sort of like jumping on the bandwagon. But what like a current Chinese list is doing is basically taking out the one flame juggler because it's bad in the current meta with uh, Alex Jones as champion, Fire War Axe, etc. That trades really well with the 2-3. Instead, they're replacing it that with a Lightning Storm. And this could replace the Lightning Storm because yep. this can be used as a proactive card and can also used, be used to deal one damage, which Shaolin kind of struggles with. And it also fills the niche that's left from Flame Juggler. Interesting. So it adds like... I never thought of it that way. Three, it's like a three-prong yeah. thing. And yeah, it's a three-prong. Adding yeah. that one Lightning Storm in that aggro deck actually made it a lot more consistent because you don't. it's not even that bad against control decks when they like leave like a few low-health minions. You can use it to just clear it off. Mm -hmm. And against aggro decks, it's... it's, it's it's like yeah. a complete game changer. Yeah. And just having one copy and sacrificing a not optimal card slot since the, basically the deck was down to the cards, like optimized to 29 cards. Mm -hmm. And then the one card that like that people weren't sure about uh, is basically just called the Zixxo list, but Zixxo put in the Flame Juggler and people have been like running with that for the longest time. And then now that people have been putting in Lightning Storm, this is a good replacement. Yeah. It does Maybe. really it help does, with the yeah. weaker matchup, which is a zoo too. And of course yeah. it synergizes with the Spell Power Totem. Which yeah, yeah, it might be relevant. Yeah, in terms of uh, replacing lightning storm, though, it just doesn't do the the one know, damage doesn't seem impactful, but it, yeah. it, it in it many might, cases no. you're using the lightning storm as a whirlwind, and this is in 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 a meta where whirlwind is such a good effect. This is I see the scene. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Yeah, who knows? It doesn't buff tunnel drag though. It doesn't seem strong off like the, like just by looking at it, but I, I see a scene play just I, for that one specific slot in that specific archetype. I see this in the fringe Mali Ghost Shaman deck. <laughs> I don't see it in I don't see it, it in it, the control shaman though for sure because it's, it's no it's but, not impactful. It enough. doesn't replace uh, the uh, elemental destruction, destruction and, and, and at all. Destruction, lightning storm yeah. and lava shock. But if you run Mali Ghost, oh, you might as well run this cheap removal. Yeah. Unless destroy, you want to run like, them all. You like, like, Mali, all the board you play Emperor and the yeah. Mali Ghost and Maelstrom Portal. Yeah, yeah. 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 Why not? I, 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 this card is okay. Play with uh, Hollow Zeal, get some heals. Yeah. That being said, it's not very good. I don't think. I think it's pretty. I think it is not a great card like in a vacuum, but it's a good card in the sense that it'll see like fringe use in that specific arc. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Plus, you might get a cool one drop. Like you might get tunnel truck, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then that way, that's when your opponent just like, screams RNG and like this this guy is better than me. <laughs> He'll Any, add you after the game. Yeah, add you after the game. Yeah, yeah. they had to have they have to have added more portal cards and more RNG cards into the mm -hmm. set, and it's just one of them. Yeah. I guess a one one causes into a back one. So next we have Spirit Claws. <laughs> It's a new weapon. One mana, one three. It's has fire plus two this card looks good, but it it's, sucks. It's a fire war axe. It, no. It's a fire war axe. It, it, it's better than a fire <laughs> war axe. It's better it's than a fire It costs one charge. less. I know. The thing is, what what two drop, or even three drop, or even four drop minions give you spell power? How do you get that spell power without, without screwing yourself? The question is, how skilled are you to consistently get your spell power totem on turn two? The question is, why wouldn't you just play a totem golem? Yeah, why wouldn't you just play totem golem? When instead of hero power, why do you just don't run this card and then just play totem tunnel trog and a totem goal? Yeah. This is what people have been doing for like the past year. Why? Why did we even need this card? This card sucks. I don't know. I, yeah. This card sucks. I like. I like the idea of it. Yeah, it's I just, like the idea. Yeah, of it. I like the and idea. It, it seems yeah. so good when it came first, like, at a yeah. wrong time. Yeah. Maybe when they add more, like then they add better kobold geomancers, or if they put this in mage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they put this in mage. Or maybe. Oh, if like you a, put this in mage, I believe it'd be pretty three mana, doable. like yeah. two, three okay, plus three attack the, or some crap like that. The only that. playable good. spell power minions in the current meta are Azure Drake, Blood Mage, Blood Mage, Thanos, 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 and that's pretty much it, I believe. Yeah. Uh, there's also the uh, the Tempo Mage cards. Yeah, but the, that, uh, yeah, this but is a shaman the, but card. That's shaman yeah. card. Yeah. For the purposes of theory crafting, yeah, you yeah. you add in the um the uh the, the Cthulhu three two mana three two that yeah has plus one spell power. That's playing Tempo Mage. This card is a shaman card, so you're not going to see those cards being played together. Yeah. Even Stoneforge Dax is better than this card. Yeah. True. Yep. I don't see it being played. Yep. Same. Until they add more spell power minions, of course. Yeah. Like on curve. Or kinda, yeah. yeah. Or, some, like, curve or maybe they'll add some sort of like aura effect where like oh it, like uh you play you play some sort of spell and then yeah. it gives you spell power for like five turns. There's only kind of like yeah. uh, so embrace the shadow, but with yeah, spell some power. something like yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Then it might see play, but uh, for now, bad card. Bad card. Agreed. Bad card. Bad card. Yeah. yeah. And the last card that we're going to be talking about for Shaman is the Wicked Witch Doctor, which is uh, 4 mana, 3, 4, and the effect is when you cast a spell, summon a random basic totem. What are your thoughts? 
it makes the totem carver kind of playable. I like it. It's yeah. kind of cool. synergy. That's I like synergy. this card. Yeah. I don't like its stats, but that's fair for its effect. Um, it's a... The problem is the random basic totem. Basic totems suck, though. That's the thing. Yeah. Yeah, and, yeah, and there's not many. Yeah. There's not that many cards that take advantage of you having a lot of totems on the board. Other there's than, primal fusion. Yeah, there's primal fusion. And then there's uh the Drenae totem carver. Which, that isn't a really a relevant card though, if you think about it's it. It's not. It doesn't like it, it. doesn't swing the board in a way that it, it's just a fat minion if you have a lot of totems. Mm -hmm. And that's not. I don't think that's good enough. Like to to take a card slot in like to re basically just replace aggro or mid range shaman as it is right now. Mm -hmm. I can see this being played in decks where you don't want to spam totems, but sometimes you want i don't know it's Sorry. not good with it's not good in spell shaman decks it's... because you're running stuff like elemental destruction this card obviously doesn't synergize with elemental well, no. destruction and it like it has to be built in decks where you're playing a lot of spells and you care about getting totems is that a, is that a viable deck archetype i don't think so mm. and even even if that was a viable deck archetype is generating totems something that you want to do no especially Maybe. for its stats, totems, sometimes, really. sometimes actually yeah. no you know for, for certain certain matchups like against warrior if you get a ton of totems like it's hard to deal with if the, text, the totems are just buffing each other and doing like annoying things they're not buffing each other if they're just totems though if you, you well no you want some minis you're on comboing them, of them with bloodlust or flame tongue then yeah, yeah. they're just doing something yeah. if you do this with like um the it five also, mana three six the uh the um Five. The stakes. I, I forgot what it's called. Uh, uh, the Bloods, Thunder Bluff. Thunder Bluff. Thunder Bluff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's the that's the that's, that's the application that that was the card that we were talking about. Yeah. I only yeah. remember. I just call it stakes. It also makes things from below like yeah. cost nothing at that point. Yeah. You just have all these totems out. Yeah. It does synergize. That with actually, yo, no, that actually might that actually might be relevant. This is what I'm thinking. You play this thing, yeah. you get some spells out, then you play a thing from below. Thunder. Yeah. And before that, you play some. Yeah. Good, this also synergizes with thing from yeah, below. Yeah. You can play yeah, some good minis before this. You know, like. I'm seeing more synergy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I, when I first looked at this card, I immediately thought it was garbage. That being said, Shaman is already pretty good on its own how, how it is. I don't think Seal is improving the deck arc. There's a lot of cards that are like competing in, yeah. in, in yeah. all Shaman archetypes. Especially at the 4 slot now with Flame Leaf yeah. Faithless yeah, and yeah, uh, Master of Evolution. You want the 4 mana Master seven, of Evolution. Yeah. Like, why would you play this over that? Exactly. Who knows? Yeah. Well, Master Evolution actually isn't currently seeing play because because of Flame Wreath Faceless. No, no, because all the no, no, because no, all the Shaman minions, if you think like they're not good to be evolved. Like okay. Totem Golem is not a good like that, Totem Golem. You evolve the main Totem Golem, you evolve Feral Spirit. The Feral the Wolves are two the two drops. Flame Wreath Faceless is obviously garbage. So the two, three, and four are all bad. But no, Tuscar to Totemic is something you want to evolve because it's a three drop. And you don't want to evolve totems. The, the evolved the evolved deck never really sort of like picked up because first of all these are all basic totems so then if you evolve a full board if you do like onyxia evolve you have like a 16% chance of getting a doomsayer so like Ooh. it's actually pretty bad you're, you're like doing like 10 mana combo and you're putting in like two situation cards into your deck 16% for a chance yeah it's 16% with an onyxia like on an empty board and playing evolve yeah so playing like, onyxia what? in a shaman so basically the I don't see the uh, that's a different argument for a different time, but I don't I don't that's why Master of Evolution isn't seeing play right now basically. And but I actually think this is better than Master of Evolution for the sole purposes of like not that it's a better card in a vacuum, but it has more applications that it synergizes with Thunder Bluff, it synergizes with the uh, thing from below, and it also gives you like uh, <clears throat> the one the one time uh, you, you sometimes run Primal Fusion as a one-off, yeah. mm -hmm. and that's when it's good. It's most, it's just the most crazy with Thunder Bluff. However, yeah. again, you have to consider you have to run a bunch of spells to yeah. get this thing working, and you don't really want to play that many spells. You run Lightning Bolt and Rock better, and that's it. And then you get overloaded, mm -hmm. and it kind of sucks. Yeah. Uh, I think it is okay, Kai, but my people have to do a lot of theory crafting. Yeah, to, my to verdict is right now it's not that good, so we won't see play. Yeah. All right, so yeah, that's the Shaman class. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>